Alright, show of hands. How many of you think I should have scripted out my body dysmorphic disorder video? That's my hand because I think I should have. Because I said a lot of stupid shit in that video that dulled the effectiveness of the message I was trying to get across. Now, I might tackle bulimia and anorexia in later videos, but those videos will be nothing like my body dysmorphic disorder videos. They will be structured with a lot of references and um, all the other stuff that was lacking in this video. Um, I want to apologize for some of the comments that may have offended some women who watched the video. Um, I want to thank Divinity and Glyph Reader for calling me out for the bullshit I was saying and pointing things out to me that I never really noticed. Um, thank you. And Divinity, um, you're awesome. <laughs> you really are. Um, it's, that's why you have more subscribers than me. Because you're fucking awesome. Now, I'm not trying to condescend to you or pander to you. It's just you really do make better videos than me. <laughs> Glyph Reader, too. Glyph Reader and you make better videos than I will ever make. Because you have a point to them. Most of my videos don't have points. <laughs> but, yeah. Thank you guys for watching this video. And calling me out and... Uh, um, calling me out on my shit. Uh, that's the main thing that was important to me. So, I want to mention some of the comments that uh, Divinity and Glyph Reader made. Um, let's start from the beginning with uh, Divinity. Um, she asked a very good question in her first comment, and that is uh, one that I'll answer here. If you're not attracted to Tila Tequila, why do you have a picture of her on your wall? Um, I was going to originally explain the poster in the video, but I think I, it would have put me over if I had, but I'll do it here. Um, I had gotten that when I really did like Tila Tequila, I found her attractive. And the reason I pointed her out in the video is because many people probably would have done that anyway. Uh, and I wanted to say that that's not my model for beauty, and um, uh, that that's the reason I brought that up is just because I wanted to make sure that you knew that that's not my standard of beauty. I do find her attractive still, but that she's not my standard of beauty. That's why I brought that up. Um, two, you may not realize this, but you use some very shaming language toward women, and I understand that. I'm talking about body dysmorphic disorder, and I use the word bitch, counterproductive, and a big fuck up on my part. I'm sorry. Um, I really am sorry. Um, I, I, and the language wasn't directed at women who don't fit my beauty standards. I wasn't using the word bitch. Um, I, I wasn't using that the word bitch to shame women who didn't fit my beauty standards. It's, that's not what I was. Th that word to me, to me, bitch means those women who disparage other women and call them ugly and maybe the reason why some of them suffer from BDD. Those women, the women who are very callous and say, you're ugly, you're this, you're that. That is who I was referring to. Um, not those women who ha have uh, surgery to get constructed, reconstructed, um, stuff like that, that's not who I was um, referring to. I should have, that's why I need to rethink um, a lot of this and maybe redo a video where I make my actual positions really clear and not muddled by words and stuff like that. Um, and can, and uh, bring up some of the things that Divinity brings us up in her comments. Um, I, I'm sorry. That I'm not trying to uh, backpedal. I really am sorry. I didn't realize it was gonna go over that way. Um, but thanks, Divinity, for calling me out my shit. 
Um, this is a third thing she said. I think BDD is a big problem, but it also affects people with unusually high metabolisms who suffer from hating themselves because they think they're too skinny. When you refer to them as skinny bitches or as not normal, you don't consider them and how your words may be affecting their BDD. Again, bitch wasn't directed at those suffering from BDD. It is the ones who may cause them to have BDD. Um... That's the word bitch. That's that's who I am meaning by that word bitch. It, skinny bitches are the ones who are skinny and then like point at the women and say you're too skinny and you're too fat and stuff. Those are who I'm talking about with those words. I should have used another word. I couldn't think of one. I apologize. I I I'm sorry. I really am sorry. And I'm thankful that Divinity saw that my video was just made in the spirit of helping. Um, she actually comments on this. She says, all in all, I think your video was made in the spirit of just wanting to help, and that is wonderful. It is important, though, not to shame women who don't fit your standard of beauty. Um, again, I, I never meant to shame them. I, that's not, I don't ever like shaming women. I, all women are beautiful to me. Um, I have, for... For me, all women, are, all women are beautiful because they can do something I can't. They can make a baby. They need me, but they are the ones who actually make the baby. That's They're beautiful. They can do that. That's something I can never do. I, I can never do that unless there's some freak mutation that happens in the male species. But barring that, I can't actually become pregnant. I can't. I can never do that. All women are beautiful because of that fact. And I have my own standards of beauty, but all women are beautiful to me. I never say that one woman is ugly or one woman is not. I say these are the women who um, are attractive to me, are my milieu, it, it are the ones who I look for. But all women are beautiful to me. Because they can become pregnant. <laughs> Honestly, again, unless some mutation happens in my body, I can't fucking do that. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, um, I just wanted to clarify some of that stuff. Um, I, I wanted to really clarify that the word when I was using the word bitches, it wasn't towards the women who don't fit my standard. It was the women who make other women feel like complete shit. Like skinny bitches, again, skinny bitches and bitches who have been altered. Like, okay, uh, I, I'm gonna okay. This this is a better way of explaining it from my point of view. To me, those bitches, as I refer to them, are the ones in the news media who are saying. You're too fucking skinny. You're too fucking fat. You you have to be healthy. That I've made this point abundantly clear in other videos. You have to be healthy. Healthy. Healthy for you. Healthy for you. Not healthy for every fucking body. Healthy for you. And I hope I cleared up some of the misconceptions or helped clarify stuff I didn't really make clear in the video. Um... Maybe I should redo the video and make it clearer and plan the video out better and stuff like that so that way this stuff doesn't happen and I might tackle uh, bulimia or anorexia, but those videos will be better, they'll be better done than the one about body dysmorphic disorder. And again, I'll probably do a remake of that video, which will be better. But, uh, yeah, I want to thank Glyph Reader and Divinity for, for one, uh, being subscribed to me. Being, just watching my videos, just damn. I don't know why you watch my videos, but you do, so thank you. And uh, go subscribe to Divinity and Glyph, because they make fantastic videos. Um, that's why I'm subscribed to them, because they make fucking fantastic videos. So, <laughs> I'm not trying to pander to them. It's true. They make awesome videos. Go subscribe. If you don't, I will come after you because they make awesome videos. But peace out for now. I hope I clarified things.